Hi guys, Tungsten here. So uh, today I'm gonna start to work on this uh, upgrade kit for the SIDA. So I'm gonna work from the back to the front. So probably I'm gonna work on the... Uh, so I don't need this part first. I'm gonna take away all this part. Alright, so probably I'm gonna make use of this to work from the back towards the front. So first step is basically to uh, basically open up the SIDA okay so now I've opened up the SIDA now all the screws are the same except for this uh, small magazine release over here okay so now we have a spring okay uh, there's this sort of a uh, 3d printed piece for you to be able to know place the spring nicely in place so if I if I'm not wrong, it should be uh, right before this screw post. So you should be able to just fit it in nicely over here, and then you're supposed to be able to put the spring through, and then eventually uh, lock it here. Yeah. So the next piece is is this uh, catch over here. So it should be this guy. All right, the meta version yeah so let me just take a look she should be here hmm. okay it seems to be a little bit kind of loose I'm not too sure why is that so um, but we'll see okay if it doesn't work well we I guess we'll just uh, replace it later on with with whatever this spring is well, it just doesn't seem right to me that uh, this thing seems to be uh, a, a little bit uh, wishy-washy and uh, if you were to just go in, if it's... No, it's so wishy-washy, I don't think it's able to catch. So I'm just going to remove this guy and uh, use whatever the, it comes with, uh, with the uh, original Sida and uh, see whether it works well or not. Yep. Alright, so uh, I'm going to use the original Sida catch spring and uh, see whether it works. <clears throat> Next, the plunger, there's this space over here, I believe it's to absorb the impact, so I'm just going to put it in. Okay, over here. Yep, okay. Next, I'm going to just uh, apply some lubricant. Uh, silicon grease around this uh, rod and then uh, just place it in okay I'm gonna test not to uh, place this thing in first okay before closing the shell I want to try whether you know, once I close the shell I can still remove uh, the plunger tube and then uh, do the uh, CEDA way of uh, placing in things and see whether it works well or not so I'm just gonna close this up and then uh, grease this up and then uh, we'll see how it works yeah okay I got it all fixed up so I grease it up as well with the padding inside and then uh, the rod so let's see whether we can fit it in so again the spring is here so I observe there is no up and down or down arrow I mean the up arrow key like the original uh, plunger tube so I guess it's a uh, it's a uh, fine either direction so let's see whether we can put it in okay 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 so we just need to expand a little bit push it in and then uh, make sure everything is uh, well aligned yep so that will be the uh, lower half all right next will be this guy over here so we have uh, three parts is a boat slate the, uh, this itself and then the black pin so the pin itself one side is textured so I believe you are supposed to push in the uh, smooth part first and then use a screwdriver to sort of push in the rest so I'm gonna do that Okay, so I'm going to align it well and nice. 
okay so you might need to uh, sort of adjust a little bit okay once you 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 should go in smoothly until the uh, so called the uh, textured portion and then you're supposed to use a screwdriver to push it in I'm just gonna use a, uh, a screwdriver and push it in and get back to you okay so I fix it in um, I also grease up this uh, parts a little bit so uh, let's put it into the uh, back portion so you probably just need to sort of slide it in align it and then push it in yeah so that will be it so maybe you want to test whether you know, this, the spring is okay let's move over okay, I think that will be uh, good right okay so now we can move on to the front portion okay so this is the uh, front of the uh, cedar so if I were to recall if you want to remove the uh, barrel you can just sort of push this up and then use your finger to push the barrel and you just release okay just like this and you can remove the barrel itself so I guess we don't need this portion anymore so I'm just going to put it aside alright so uh, next uh, I look at this uh, so called aluminium barrel I realize uh, they are not the same for the ends so if you were to take a look let me see one side you can see that there's a sort of a um, down kind of uh, opening okay so is this wider compared to the other side uh, which is uh, completely sort of flush okay so again we take a look yeah you can see that uh, there's a sort of a step down kind of thing I believe this should be the end whereby you know uh, put it inside the dart gate so that the dart can have a smoother kind of feed so uh, we'll test that out later on I'm not too sure what is this piece for um, my guess is that uh, if you are using this barrel in some other application uh, if you were to like you know, put a worker kind of barrel in it's going to be pretty loose I'm not too sure this piece could be just to make it you know, less so I have no idea but uh, we'll see whether is there a, a place for this guy over here or not this uh, scar barrel actually can go in pretty nicely so again later on we'll see what we can do it's a bit loose actually <laughs> so maybe we'll put uh, some double sided tape and then make it tighter okay we'll see what happens if we when we open it all up so again the two ends are not the same so be uh, careful which end is you are facing the uh, for the target itself so let's open up and see what we have inside okay I removed the uh, front portion so a few things that, that I observe so over here if you remove this white piece over here to put in a new piece you realize that this new piece does not have this two kind of uh, supporting kind of uh, groove you basically just use the lies the back two screw so it's actually going to be sort of or not so solely uh, put into position by these two places I'm not too sure whether that's a good idea but anyway if you put in the um, barrel itself of course then you will stabilize everything uh, again you no know, uh, you are lagging this two more sub sort of like a position to secure the position so yeah and of course um, still I'm not too sure what is this piece over here is for you see you can slide all the way in and all the way through so I'm not too sure what's the purpose of it anyway so hmm uh, next um, of course this is a bit loose of course you have to tighten it to make it secure I might put some double sided tape just around it to make it even more kind of um, secure 
likewise to this portion as well it does this uh, scar does fit into the uh, the uh, front piece orange piece quite nicely but uh, again uh, it will be nice to make it even uh, more secure I guess yeah so I'll do all that and then I'll place it in to let you have a final look first okay so I fix, uh, fix up the um, barrel as you can see over here so I think there's really not much use for this piece over here I do not know if anyone know what's the purpose of this piece please let me know in the description uh, other than that uh, I guess we can close it up and uh, can uh, test the uh, cedar okay so all we need to do now is just to put these two pieces together align the uh, hole over here and then I uh, just screw it in and then uh, we will be good to go all right okay I think I'm gonna do it offline as you can see the the angle I made is a bit strange but I'm gonna put it back align it and then put, put back the uh, screws okay while trying to fit uh, the uh, two halves together i realized something this uh, guy over here is actually of a slightly thicker okay in a way especially this two pole over here so if you're trying to fit it in you realize that you will sort of not be able to get through this two pole so you have to sort of try open a little bit then uh, then you go through so you have to be careful for the original one uh, is there's enough clearance to do so yeah okay I fit fix back everything and I'm trying to try it out with uh, some worker darts right I realize uh, something right. if I try to climb it sometimes it sometimes you have this problem yeah it seems like the worker does is too long if you were to use this uh, katana adapter as you can see it doesn't fit well yeah yeah but having said that uh, I am able to get like uh, I think 190 to 200 plus FPS but again, my chronograph it might not be the most accurate. So I'm gonna see you know, if I were to cut down some of my own darts or the ACC darts, see whether you know, it have such feeding issue. Because I think the uh, worker dart is slightly longer. I'm not too sure. I don't use a lot of short dart. Yeah. Okay, uh, so after testing a few different type of darts, I still feel that there's some feeding issue uh, it's basically not due to the length of the darts uh, even with uh, the shorter one you can see when you push it in it just doesn't fit well okay yeah so if you were to fire it off let me just fire it off okay, when you try to feed it again can see that it doesn't sort of spring up it basically this guy seems to be too long you have to push it front a bit reverse then uh, you can fit it in yeah so I'm not too sure how well this is okay again so I just want to show you so push it back again you can see that I uh, doesn't it doesn't it was it is uh, obstruct by the uh the uh boat itself you have to push it forward a little bit push pull it back and then yeah so <laughs> all right so uh instead of the um katana mag uh so now i test it with the uh so-called talent and the adapter and uh yeah so with that so it can fit quite well okay so here so you can see now with the uh, 10 telemac although here is a bit 
uh, jerky but uh, nevertheless it's, it works okay so it's fit quite well okay so you won't have the uh, jamming issue so I guess uh, if you were to go for this system unfortunately you cannot use the katana you have to use the tenon okay and uh, yeah in that way uh, it is a little bit jerky over here but at, le at least okay you won't have the uh, jamming issue okay yeah well <coughs> uh, yeah uh, but anyway uh, thanks for watching I'm tungsten